In this third part of The Art of Attacking Soccer, it is all about the importance of good positional play as the basis for successful build-up attacks. A build-up attack is always indicated when a quick counter-attack is not possible. It is characterized by a safe build-up either over the wings or through the middle. The attacking team plays the ball into the attacking zone from its defensive zone through midfield and does so with well-executed pass sequences. The most important quality for this to be successful is the ability of the whole team to keep ball possession, even under intensive pressure by the opponent. Ball possession is no guarantee for a win, but it allows to dictate tempo and rhythm and, above all, to force the opponent to do a lot of running. Top teams have an almost perfect ability to retain the ball no matter what the circumstances. To acquire this ability, small and large positional games should be included in practices. In this DVD, you can see how Norbert Elgart has his team go through preliminary passing exercises and positional games in order to put pressure on a well-organized defense. It is very important to apply exercises and game variation properly and to communicate clearly with what is being learned. That is why there is a crucial emphasis in this DVD as to how the coach interacts with his players. How do you correct your players? What do you emphasize? How do you motivate your players? What is your body language? The most important coaching points in practicing positional play are position your players on the wings and in the center. Get open all the time. Form triangles. Create numbers up around the ball. Show that you are open by your body language. Exploit first and second gaps within the opponent's defense. Get out of the defensive shadow. Switch the side of your attack. Secure ball possession. For the second warm-up phase, we recommend complex passing and dribbling exercises, which can optimally prepare your team for the main part of the session. It is sensible to view the warm-up phase not as an isolated part, but to integrate it with the focus of the day. The various games in this DVD include appropriate preliminary activities. The number of players and the size of the playing area stay the same to simplify the practice procedure. This approach makes methodical sense and is the basis for our DVD. All variations of games and exercises have been successfully tested with various age groups and skill levels. To a great extent, soccer is a game without the ball. In the course of a game, every player has contact with the ball for only one and a half to two minutes. The players' movements, when they don't have the ball, have to be coordinated and offer their teammates with the ball many and good possibilities for a pass. The choice of a pass he makes depends how he assesses the situation tactically. When getting open, a player wants to be able to control the ball when he collects it or give his teammate with the ball a wide angle to find him safely with a pass. 
All attacking players are aiming to disrupt the opponent's defensive work. The various positional games compiled in this DVD will allow your players to learn how to get open intelligently, to secure ball possession, to create numbers up situations, to switch play and finish with a shot on goal.